crowds of flower-bearing North Koreans paid respects on the sixth anniversary of the death of Kim Jong-un's father, Kim Jong-il, on Sunday as fears that the country could launch another missile continued to rise. Thousands of people marched up Pyongyang's Mansi Hill to bow and place flowers at the feet of two giant bronze statues of Kim Jong-il and national founder Kim Il-sung, who is North Korea's eternal president and Kim Jong-un's grandfather. Somber, recorded music played in the Sub-Zero air as North Koreans made their way up the hill. Kim Jong-il died on December 17, 2011. In the past, Pyongyang has marked such commemorations with rocket tests and military drills. Although the sense of national mourning is less intense than in previous years, North Koreans are expected to avoid drinking, entertainment and inappropriate displays of enjoyment on the day before and the day of the anniversary. At midnight, senior ruling party officials visited a mausoleum on the outskirts of the city where the elder Kims lie in state, according to state-run media reports. Meanwhile Kim Jong-un vowed to develop more nuclear weapons on Tuesday while personally decorating scientists and officials who contributed to the development of Pyongyang's most advanced intercontinental ballistic missile, the Song-15. In research released in late November, the respected Center for Strategic and International Studies said data analysis showed elevated chances for provocations by the secretive nation within four weeks. Song 15, which was test launched on November 29, has been largely perceived by analysts and government officials to have a range that can reach all of the mainland United States. However, experts believe North Korea still has some technical points it needs to improve before fully completing its goal of developing a nuclear-tipped missile that can hit the entirety of the United States. Kim Jong-un said on Tuesday the scientists and workers would continue manufacturing more latest weapons and equipment to bolster up the nuclear force in quality and quantity, the North Central News Agency reported on Wednesday. The North Korean leader was speaking at the close of a rare two-day munitions conference to celebrate the Song 15. Kim also said North Korea should develop and manufacture more diverse weapons. Kim personally awarded medals to those in the field of defense science who most faithfully and perfectly carried out the party's plan for building strategic nuclear force successfully test-fired ICBM Song 15 and thus demonstrated the dignity and might of our powerful state all over the world once again, KCNA said without naming the recipients. They were given several medals, including the Order of Kim Il-sung and Order of Kim Jong-il, the highest orders of the DPRK, an acronym for North Korea's official name, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. In addition to the medals, KCNA said the scientists and officials were given watches engraved with the names of Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il, the North Korean leader's grandfather and father. He solemnly declared that the development of new strategic weapon systems including A-bomb, H-bomb and ICBM Song 15 with indigenous efforts and technology and the realization of the great cause of completing the state nuclear force serve as the great historic victory of our party and people of the country, North Korea's state media added citing Kim. The isolated state has previously said it has succeeded in developing atom bombs and hydrogen bombs as it carried out six nuclear tests from 2006 with the latest in September this year, although no outside entity has been able to confirm the North's announcements.